Which eucalypt is the spookiest? Carimbia or Pararinia? <laughs> A stark white trunk with vivid green leaves, this tree's form and colour are in striking contrast to the deep blue skies, red sand and rugged mountains where it's typically found. Balancing on cliff edges through central Australia, it is a leading contender for the most famous eucalypt. But knowing exactly which eucalypt or eucalypts they are is super difficult because there are a number of species which look remarkably similar. I'm sure you've heard the name and been told, that's a ghost gum. That's a ghost gum. That's a ghost gum. That's totally a ghost gum. Oh yeah, that's that's totally that's a, ghost, a, ghost, that's a ghost, gum. ghost gum. Oh yeah, that's totally a ghost gum. The ghost gum, the specific subject of this video, is Carimbia apararinia. But this species is just one of around 24 species which you could all say are ghost gums. Much the same as other general terms for groups of eucalypts like red gums, blue gums, ashes, peppermints and bloodwoods. The term ghost gum in tree nerd terms isn't referring to one species of eucalypt, but a group of species. However, there is one key species in this ghost gum group, which is the one that most people associate with the name ghost gum as it's commonly used. And that is a species found throughout Central Australia. Carimbia apararinia can be found occupying the southern half of the Northern Territory. But there doesn't seem to be a defined border with the ghost gum species that surround it. To the west, you can find Carimbia candida. Very close to the north is Carimbia flavincensis. And if you go a little further north, covering the top third of the Northern Territory is Carimbia bella. To the west, all the way up into Cape York, is where you can find Carimbia dalachiana. And Carimbia papuana can be found all the way up to the top end of Cape York. The Central Australian species name is Apararinya, and that is a word from the Western Aranda language. How the word Apararinya came to be used is a bit mysterious. The use of this word for ghost gum was recorded by an early anthropologist called Herbert Badstow in 1925. He seems to have been a little confused because the Aranda word for ghost gum is Alumpa. The word Apararinya is actually built on the name for river red gum, Ape, with the full translation of Aperarinha, meaning something like similar to river red gum. The biggest ghost gum is this absolute stunner, 120 kilometers to the east of Alice Springs at Trefina Gorge. Measuring in at 27 meters high and having a circumference of 4.4 meters, it is the national champion. You should remember, however, that like most champion trees, this one is the exception rather than the rule because most ghost gums don't get anywhere near this big. But what they lack in size, they more than make up for by living in the most dramatic of spots. Here at Ormiston Gorge, 150 kilometers to the west of Alice Springs is totally the most dramatic of locations. When I think of ghost gums, it's this place that immediately comes to mind. Immense 500 meter high walls of red quartzite are the backdrop to sharp, bending dry riverbeds that have been carved through the central Australian rock for hundreds of millions of years. Deep pools form a permanent source of surface water and are a refuge for wildlife. This is the perfect habitat for ghost gums to grow in. They look over these incredible landscapes from their perches high on the cliff base, where few other trees could even dare to try living. On a hot summer's day, just imagine the air temperature being 46 degrees Celsius. Then imagine just how hot these rocks would be after they've been absorbing that direct sunlight all day. Using the word ghost gum can be a little confusing, because it's actually a group of trees with about 24 species in it. However, there is only one Central Australian ghost gum, Carimbia apararinia. Ghost gums? Heck yeah! I'm Steve from The Tree Projects and you keep on yuking.
So it's 2020 and we at The Tree Project here are going to be releasing a range of eucalypt media all throughout the year. What you can do is have a think about your favourite eucalypt and enter it into the eucalypt of the year 2021 thanks to Eucalypt Australia. Also there's, uh, there's two links, you can also click and a subscribe button as well, so uh, yeah, click them. <laughs>